Hello and welcome to Cool Your Damn Jets. Today what I want to talk about is Freshly. Uh, my wife and I tried it and I have an opinion about it. Um, I should first mention that I tried to get my wife to use Freshly a while ago, some years ago, more than two years ago, I think. And um, at that time she didn't want to try it. Um, more recently we made changes to the way the household hope operates um and she decided to give it a try um so we've been on it for three weeks now i think today's the third this week is the third week and we got our food for this week but i haven't tasted it yet um freshly i think um they have a good idea where what they do is uh, they deliver to you uh, meals that are already pre-made and they're in a, a tray, a plastic tray, and there's a, co a carton cover over it. And um, you just need to pop them in the microwave for two minutes and a half and then let them sit for two minutes or something like that. And um, you can eat it. I think that the theory is great. Um, the practice leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, and the reason for that is that the meals that they produce, um, at best, they are okay. Uh, and there's stuff that I've tasted in there that I can compare to regular meals if you go to a restaurant. Uh, and it doesn't compare at all. I mean, Freshly is much, much uh, lower quality than a restaurant meal. Um, to the point that I could go into a store and buy some frozen stuff and make the frozen stuff in that microwave it is, and it would taste better than freshly. I have I have things that I sometimes order from the grocery store that are frozen and, and they're better than freshly. And uh, that's a bit of a problem um, because if the food doesn't taste normal or great, but even normal would be good. Uh, but... The, the, the taste of the food that freshly produces is, is always a little bit weird. Um, so for me, it would need to get to the level of normal food before I would want to continue my subscription with it. And right now I can tell you that my wife and I have decided commonly and in agreement that uh, we're done after this week. We're, we're not getting freshly anymore. And I started looking at other companies that do s similarly to freshly and my wife said, well, I don't want to do it now. Uh, so uh, I decided to just stop looking for other companies. Um, so yeah, the, the main problem with Freshly is the quality of their food. And for us, for myself, because I'm vegetarian and my wife is not vegetarian, for myself, what I would save in terms of making meals is I would save, if I get three meals out of them, I would save like one night of cooking. Which is not a lot. Um, I don't, and I don't cook new things every day. It, it doesn't happen. So freshly, you know, it's very nice for the variety. So you can go into their selections and get new stuff every day. And because I'm vegetarian, I do get less options than other people, which may also um, not help the situation in my case. Uh, because, you know, if... If I ate meat, then I could go to a meat product. But my wife was not impressed either. You know, my wife is in agreement with me that freshly produces food that tastes eh. Uh, and, and that's the main problem. So we're not thinking of pursuing freshly anymore. Uh, in the future, I don't know what will happen. Maybe we'll look at another company. Unfortunately, I cannot compare freshly to other companies because... Um, except the grocery store, because I haven't done business with other companies that deliver meals, that deliver meals either that you prepare yourself or that are pre-prepared at their uh, manufacturer. But yeah, I, I in my mind, I, it's, I cannot recommend Freshly to anybody, uh, really, um, because the quality is not there. Um, So, yeah, that's my impression. Anyway, I mean, everything else was fine. They built us fine. They gave us rebates fine. They, the deliveries were fine, usually. The first week, we had a very short window 
uh, between the time we got the the food and eating it, we had to eat it right away and you know starting the first night we got it. If we had the same issue and the same kind of expiry pattern this this week, uh, we would be in trouble because I produced a big batch of, of food before we got our freshly, but now I can just push it back because it's back enough. I can push it back in the week and just ate it later. Um, eat it later. I, said, I think I said ate it later. Eat it later. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I mean, this is not something I can recommend. Uh, sorry. Uh, I don't know if it varies by region. Maybe our unit here near where I live is not very good at producing food. I don't know if it's better somewhere else. Uh, because, of course, they don't, you know, it's not produced in one spot in the U.S. And then they ship nationally. They have different kitchens in different places. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm baffled and uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, that. That's all I had to say on the topic. So um, I'll say uh, thank you for listening and goodbye and see you next episode.